Good morning, Raiders. I'm Randy. And I'm Jacob. And we're here with your special announcement. Congratulations, congratulations to the following students who have been awarded October Student of the Month for their grade level. All of these students excel in accountability and have been nominated by their teachers for their awesomeness. Our Freshman Student of the Month is Samantha Barkley, nominated by Mrs. Susco and Mr. Martin. Our, student of the, our Sophomore Student of the Month is Joshua Cope, nominated by Miss Midget and Mr. Sullivan. Our Junior Student of the Month is Sincere Henderson, nominated by Mr. Dixon and Mr. Melillo. And our Senior Student of the Month is Sheila Allen, nominated by Miss Misaac and Mr. Flinner. Great job to all four of these amazing students. Thanks for staying accountable at all times. Now, our Teacher of the Month, this teacher receiving an amazing amount of nominations that so many students wanted to show appreciation for their accountability expected in the classroom. Congrats to the October Teacher of the Month, Mr. Bodner! Teachers who have received nominations can find these nominations in their mailboxes. Now here's a list of all the students who received nominations from the teachers for their accountability. Great job, Raiders! <laughs> WGH. Today is Monday, November 6, 2023. I'm Jilly. And I'm Nemo, and we're here with your announcement. Student and staff, Yearbook Club will be meeting in Mr. Whitaker's room, room 2113, after school on today, November 6. C come down to 2113 and bring some photos. You'll have access to e-design, so you can start practicing on page layouts for the book. See you then, Yearbook Club. There is a mandatory meeting for all cast crew Monday, November 6, at 2.45. If you cannot attend for any reason, let Ms. Roar know. Continued club membership depends on attendance. Key Club Week is Key Club Week is November 6th through 10th. It is celebrated around the world to share the message of Key Club's mission, which is to do service in schools and communities. Each day is centered around a theme. Look for the posters for each day's theme throughout the building. Monday, show your K. Show people what Key Club, Key club is all about. Did you know that the first Key Club was formed in Sacramento, California in 1925? It is the largest, oldest service program for high school students in the world. It is never too late to join Key Club. Our next meeting is Thursday, November 9th, after school in room 2124. The Cross Cat team is selling popcorn again. Sales will take place each during each lunch on, starting on Wednesday, November 8th. The cost is $1 per bag. Once again, get some popcorn starting November 8th during lunch. The Warren G. Harding Soccer Boosters are holding a Chipotle fundraiser on Wednesday, November 8th from 4 to 8 p.m. in Cortland at the location near Walmart on Elm Road. You can order online using the code WT7V3CF or just mention the WGH soccer team when you order in person. 33% of all proceeds go directly to the soccer program. Once again, that's November 8th from 4 to 8 in Cortland, Chipotle. Go Raiders. Be there. All students who have met the requirements to receive an invitation for the Beverly Burrill chapter of the National Honor Society will receive the application by Friday, November 3rd in your first period class. These applications are due back to Ms. Elliott in room 3229 by the end of the day, November 13th. Ms. Thornton and Ms. Elliott wish all the applicants the very best luck. If you are chosen, you will be tapped in before Thanksgiving break. If you have questions on the application or the essay, please see Ms. Elliott in room 3229. The WGH Picture Day is on its way. Harding students will be taking pictures on Tuesday, November 14th. You'll be receiving forms shortly and will go down as a group to snap your photos during English classes. All students are required to get a photograph as a part of a current photo on file and it's part of the Ohio Revised Code. So dress in your finest garb on Tuesday, November 14th 
and get ready to say cheese. And it's time for the 21st annual HBCU College Fair. It's on Saturday, November 18th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. in Warrensville Heights High School. Interested students should fill out this form by scanning this QR code. You might sign up November 3rd. A bus will be depart from Moore G. Harding at 7.30 a.m. The students will return by 3 p.m. More details will be provided soon, so if you're interested, sign on up. The Warren Kiwanis Club is hosting the 44th annual Turkey Trot, benefiting the, circuit, the second harvest. It is a five-mile a five run or a two-mile run and one-kilometer fun run. It's being held on Thanksgiving morning at Kent St. Trumbull. The fun run starts at 8.30 a.m. and the two-mile events beginning at 9. The five-mile run starts at 10. Register online at www.goforrun.com or pick up a registration form in the library. It's almost that special time of yeah. year, Christmas. So don't forget about Christmas at Heart and community sale on sat Saturday, November 25th from 9 to 1 p.m. Come to, come out to see what the spirit shop and local business has have to offer. Come and get, get some gifts for that special writer in your life. That's all we have for today. Make this Monday magnificent and marvelous. Okay. Hello, Warren G. Hargis and Coach Penny coming at you with some indoor track news. Indoor track signups have started. You're going to go in a building and find these signs posted everywhere. There's a little QR code here in the bottom. All you got to do is take your phone, hit the QR code, answer the questions, and make sure you read the very bottom. Um, there's some important dates about when practices start, um, what you need, and the expectations. If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, Signups are again have started, so I look forward to having each and every one of you hopefully come out for indoor track season. Uh, it should be a great year. Our boys team goes into it actually state ranked this year, so we're looking very forward to um, our boys team and our girls team has many athletes that are already state ranked going into the indoor season, so this should be a fun year. Um, as always, best of luck to all the rest of the fall sports and the uh, playoffs as they finish up, and as we lead into winter sports, Go Raiders! Hello everyone, it's Mr. Earls again. I wanted to let everyone know that we will be having our next ski club meeting Thursday, November 9th, 9th right after dismissal in the wood shop. Anyone interested in joining ski club should, should come to this meeting. I will have paperwork for you that needs to be filled out and returned, so please make sure you are at the meeting if you plan on joining ski club. Can't wait to see you there. Have a great day. What's up Raiders, I'm Carter and I'm Micah here with your sports. The Texas Rangers are 2023 World Series champions after they defeated the Arizona Diamondbacks on Wednesday by a score of 5 to nothing in Game 5 and took the series 4 to 1. This is the Rangers first championship in franchise history. Tonight on Monday Night Football, the Chargers travel to MetLife Stadium to take on the Jets. On Thursday, the Steelers defeated the Titans on Thursday Night Football 20 to 16 and now Nate, you look very stupid for your bold prediction. Stupid prediction. Finally, in the NBA tonight, the Lakers go to Miami to play the Heat and the Bucks go to Brooklyn for a matchup with the Nets. That's all we have for your sports. Have a good day, Raiders. What's up, Raiders? I'm Carter. And I'm Michael. And we're here with your birthdays for today. Happy birthday today to Corey Jordan. McCole Wells. Sean Trails, Cleveland. Andrew Booth. Jaden Hogue and Trace Goisueta. Happy birthday, everybody. Go have a good one. Good afternoon, Raiders. I'm Jamal, and I'm here with your unique holidays for this week. On Monday, to, aka today, is National Saxophone Day. Tomorrow on Tuesday, it's Bittersweet Chocolate with Almonds Day. That took a while to read. Okay, Wednesday is National Tongue Twister Day. And a good tongue twister I have for you, try saying Toy Boat five times as fast as you can. Then on Thursday, we have Chaos Never Dies Day. And finally, to end off the week on Friday, in my opinion, this is the best holiday, Vanilla Cupcake Day. That's all I have for your this unique holidays, Raiders. Have a good one. Hey guys, I'm Aubrey and I'm here with your fun fact of the day. Um, your fun fact is that over 3 billion Christmas cards are sold each year in the United States. That's all I have for you today because it's Christmas. So, Merry Christmas everyone. Good morning, 
Dreamwriters, it's Brenna and I'm here with your fashion for fall and winter. Let's start off here with your colors for this fall and winter. Your colors are red, gray, brown, and mustard yellow. We also have wide-legged pants and cargo pants. That's all I have for you. Remember to keep up with your fall and winter fashion. Dreamwriters, I'm Tyra. And I'm Dynasty, and we're here with the joke of the day. All right, I'm going to go first. What is a house where to a party? Hmm? A dress. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go. Uh, well, why did the poodle buy a clock? Why? <laughs> he wanted to be a watchdog. <laughs> that was a terrible joke, but that's all we have for you today, Raiders. <laughs> okay, bye.